hi friends this is johnson today i am going to share some details on printed circuit boards drilling process the contents of my presentation is what is drilling definition for the drilling what is the purpose of drilling in printed circuit boards drilling purpose in pcbs what are the types of drilling technologies available in PCBs or what are the drilling technologies used in PCBs definition of the drilling drilling is a process in, in printed circuit boards which can be used for internal electrical interconnections please note drilling is a process which we can use for internal electrical interconnections or a positioning hole to assemble the components friends this drilling is basically to connect the internal layers to connect the interconnections in the pcb for example if you are going with a two layer board there is a one line running on the top of the side or component side and second line is running on the bottom side so i need to have a connection from top to bottom so where we will have a copper pad on both the layers we will drill at the center of the copper pad then we make a plated through holes plating that's what this drilling is for, for that purpose drilling is intended so it it will establish the drilled hole will establish the inter, internal electrical interconnection in the pcb within the pcb the purpose of drilling so drilling is the fundament foundation for wires and connectivity between layers so wires in the sense plated through hole plating so in downsizing of electronic devices drilling plays a vital role so for example if you are taking mobile phones if you are taking a small uh, electronic devices in that the pcb pcb is becoming pcb also becoming miniature so pcb holes will be very small there are two types of drilling technologies one is mechanical drilling the second one is laser drilling drilling we will go into the details mechanical drilling the drilling technology that uses drill bits this is the drilling technology that uses generally drill bits generally in pcb industry we will use carbide drill bits so these drill bits are easy to use and with it will have a less precision for example if you take a drill bit of size 1 mm if you measure it will always be minus 15 microns of the diameter after drilling maximum times the whole diameter of the drill bit drilled hole diameter will be less than approximately 15 microns so with this drill mechanical drill bits we can drill maximum of 6 mm so this mechanical drill bits also will have their shelf life otherwise run out run out time so approximately if you are drilling on a fr4 so we can drill up to 800 mm holes suppose if you are drilling on ptfe polytetrafluoroethylene you can drill around 300 to 350 holes so second one is laser drilling laser drilling involves a stationary laser beam that uses its high power density to melt or vaporize material from the workpiece in principle laser drilling is governed by energy balance between the irritate irritating energy from the laser beam and the con conduction heat into the workpiece methods of laser drilling there are four varieties of method laser drilling methods one is single pulse or short laser drilling percussion laser drilling trepanning laser drilling helical laser drilling single pulse or short laser drilling in single pulse drilling a sufficient high energy laser pulse is used to drill either a thorough hole of diameter typically less than 1 mm in a thin sheet of thin sheet or a shallow blind hole in a thick plate so with this uh, single pulse or short laser drilling we can drill maximum drill size of 1 mm so this laser drilling in this laser drilling the power duration of the pulse 
may be from milliseconds to few tens of joule per energy millijoules per pulse energy has been used in a single pulse laser drilling percussion laser drilling percussion drilling is a series of short, short duration identical laser pulses are directed at the same spot at high speed to drill to drill a through hole in a relatively thick plate this is the most popular laser drilling methods and is used in many applications such as drilling large number of holes in combustion in chambers turbines and guide guide vanes trepanning laser drilling this basically this trepanning laser drilling is used to produce larger size holes by drilling a series of overlapping holes around around their peri perimeter with either a high repetition rate of pulsed laser or quasi cw laser helical triplan trepanning laser drilling the helical trepanning is is rotated around the perimeter and gradually dip, uh, deepens the hole lowering down the focal position with each rotation spherically one once the throw hole is created laser is move, moved around the hole a few times to smooth out the edges this process can produce very large and high quality holes this laser helical replanning laser drilling will produce high quality drills so these are typical photographs of different laser drilling process if you can see the single face it is only single beam it is trying to drill the holes the supercussion drilling it is giving series of pulses so that it is it can melt the drill panel or work piece if you take replan replanning laser drilling it is drilling from the periphery by taking number of successive drills side by side so helical drilling it is also starting from the periphery then it will slowly come to the center of the piece so laser drilling machine for microwaves in general what are the laser drilling we are using in cnc for pcb printed circuit boards applications so we need to we need to select a machine which can give create a small holes on the types of materials used for printed circuit boards basically that order of the drill dia will be around 12 mil to 6 mil even then less than 6 mil so the most commonly used cnc laser sorry the most commonly used laser drilling machines for drilling microwaves or cbo2 and nd yag lasers so cbo2 lasers so carbon dioxide laser uses gas as the lashing medium and emit light into the ir spectrum with around 1 10.6 micrometer wavelength so they are mostly used in areas where the speed of drilling is primary of importance around 80% of micro drilling co2 lasers are used nd yag lasers this lay this is basically used when the composite material for example the base base is a composite material that means you are using different types of base, base materials bonded together and we are going to drill that one this laser will be used so it will work at work at uh, 10000 pulses per second it will give it will work at 10064 wave nanometer wavelength so it can drill up to 12 to 25 microns also it can drill thank you friends this is about drilling process thank you my fellow experts and colleagues in pcp technology thank you for your attention thank you